हेलो आई एम शुक्ला चौधरी एंड वेलकम टू दिव फोर्ट इट इज लोकेटेड ऑन द वेस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया इन दिव द फोर्ट वॉज बिल्ड इन फिफ्टीन थर्टी फाइव सब्सिक्वेंट टू ए डिफेंस अलायंस फोर्च बाय बादू शाह द देन सुल्तान ऑफ गुजरात एंड द पोर्टुगीज वेन हुमायूं द मुगल एम्पायर फेस्ड वॉर to increase his territory This union territory is crammed with history from barrack portuguese churches to the majestic ramparts of its fort built in 1535 and maintained as an active garrison till 1960 The cannons are still strategically placed on the ramparts. The Syrian Arabian Sea having ferried enemies up plenty since 1509 to what is today an idyllic island retreat. Visitors to the sprawling fort with its double moat get a picture postcard view. of the white ship shaped fortin do mar or panicotta a sea fort a few hundred meters from the and reachable by boat from the local jetty besides offering amazing seascapes this fortress also houses a chapel the fortified frontier speaks volumes of the battles past the first battle of diu in 1509 was enacted between portugal and a combined force of turkey egypt venice the republic of ragusa versus the sultan of gujarat mahmud bigada In 1513 the Portuguese unsuccessfully tried to establish an outpost there Diogo Lopes de Squeira in 1521 and Nuno do Cana in 1523 and 1531 also made attempts that failed In 1535 Badusha The Sultan of Gujarat struck an alliance with the Portuguese against the Mughal Emperor Humayun and allowed the Portuguese to build the fort. Ultimately, the Portuguese killed Shah and Diu remained in their position from 1535 until 1961 when it was declared a union territory of India. The fort was strengthened over the years. Portuguese took control of the fort and the Dew town in the year 1537, 424 years. In fact, this is the longest colonial rule in the world. They were forced to quit in December in 1961, even though India became an independent country in 1947. It was a military action called Operation Vijay launched by the government of India and after that Dew was merged with India and became a centrally administered union territory The fort is the most visited landmark in the district Let me remind you that the fort is built on a hillock next to the sea. There are only remains now, but the remnants are also a big crowd puller. The fort has a church, a lighthouse, water reservoir, and the remnants of the Portugal Dew.
the importance of the due fort was highlighted by an opinion poll conducted through the internet and telephone when 2,39,418 people participated in Portugal to list out the new seven wonders of the Portugal built during their colonial rule. The Dew Fort and the Basilica of Bom Jesus in Old Goa were chosen as the two wonders from India among the seven from across the world. Out of a list of 27 monuments built in 60 countries during the Portugal's rule. In the words of the then district administrator of Dew, a major tourism attraction in India. The listing of Dew and the fort on the world tourist map, this will certainly give a boost to the local tourism industry. Certainly, the tourist industry is a flourishing one over here, but outside this fortress, Dew breeds. So let's move on to the famous, fabulous Seashell Museum. Tata, see you at the Seashell Museum.